Alright guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care and today I'm going to be unboxing and installing the Extreme Pro Series uh, XF107 sprayer rack for backpack sprayers and uh, I'll be testing my Chapin backpack sprayer as far as fit goes So, all right, here are the sprayer rack mounting instructions for enclosed trailers and open trailers. And then also it has some uh, other parts down here for extensions and then the strap tightening procedure. So, so that's the uh, that's the instructions on it. Set that aside. And then right here, I'm going to have to cut the zip tie, but right here are the uh, fasteners that come with it. So, looks like a couple of mounting bolts with lock nuts, and then there's four self-tapping screws. It's a pretty nice unit. You know, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice thick strap, really sturdy strap. Got a nice heavy buckle on it. Here's the uh, quick release. You just push these two wings. So quick and easy. So once you have it, once you have it adjusted to your sprayer, you know, wherever that wherever that might be, then all you got to do is hit the quick release. And then right here, there's a pin, so you can remove the pin, and uh, this adjusts all the way back to here. There's four positions. So that you can adjust the strap to where it's right up against your sprayer. So I kind of like that. That's a that's a pretty easy, uh, pretty foolproof design. You can see you can see here on the inside one, two, three, four. It's in position number two or three right now. However you want to look at that. And then your mounting holes back here, top and bottom. So I had a. Uh, I had a sprayer rack on my trailer door already and I actually already have holes drilled and everything so I should be able to use those bolts and just go right into those uh, existing holes and should work out pretty easy. Um, the mounting hardware that's there, those two bolts, that should be all I need. In fact, I wouldn't even need that long but I don't think that's going to hurt anything because by the time it goes through the door and then goes into the back of this, I don't think it's even going to stick out. So Now if you're going to put this on the wall of your trailer like most guys do, uh, or most of them that I've seen, you, it would literally be as easy as just holding it up and running your two self-tapping screws into the stud of your trailer wall and you're done. Um, if you're mounting it on your, the rail of your trailer on an open trailer, it has the holes here in the bottom or you can do the same, run a bolt right through the rail, you're done. So, um, I really like the way these things are put together. They're really well thought out as far as the design goes, and the materials, the uh, fastening hardware. Okay guys, so I have it mounted on the door, uh, basically in the same position I had it in before, and I utilized the two original holes, those bolts worked out really good. They don't uh, they don't go past the back plate, so they shouldn't interfere with the sprayer. I'll uh, I'll know for sure when I get it on there and uh, test it out, of course. But I don't have it with me, so I'll add that to this video. 
but uh, it's nice and solid, clean. Um, so, and I still have lots of room on that door if I wanted to add another sprayer or uh, another piece of equipment of some kind. Maybe something short that I could hang on the door. So I've got my Chapin uh, battery powered backpack sprayer in the rack. Um, I really like how that, I like how it fits. Um, you know, the, the bottom, the base plate is about perfect for the framework on this sprayer. Let me uh, turn it here just a little bit. It's better light. You can see that a little better now. But the frame just sits right in there nice. Um, sets on the on the plate nice and sturdy. What If you guys remember in my older videos, what I had before was uh, two L brackets. So it came down the came down the wall of the trailer about or the door you know came down the wall of the door about I think it was six inches and then it came out about six inches it was like a 90 degree quarter inch thick um, angle plate basically had two of those and that's what my sprayer sat on and it was okay I just had a uh, ratchet strap that went from that eye bolt to that eye bolt and that's what was holding it on so uh, you know this will be nice and quick all I've got to do is walk up here push down on those two tabs it pops open um, it's still in the same position I had it where I can just back up to it put the shoulder straps on with a full tank and and take off uh, I just laid the uh, laid the hose right over the top and the gun the sprayer actually sits right there on the top of the back plate so that's perfect it doesn't hang down where it's in the way um, and to mount it I didn't run a bolt down low, I just went with the two existing holes I had up high. And uh, that's what these are. So I just painted the head of them black, matches the trailer, and uh, it's nice and solid, nice and sturdy. So there again, you know, when the season, when the season gets started and I uh, start doing some spraying and using it on the daily, then I can give you guys some more feedback on how it's, how it's working for me and holding up.